The Game Boy Camera (GBC), released as Pocket Camera (Pocketacamera) in Japan, is a Nintendo accessory for the handheld Game Boy gaming console and was released on February 21, 1998 in Japan, which ceased manufacture in late 2002. It is compatible with all of the Game Boy platforms including Super Game Boy and with the exception of Game Boy Micro. The camera has a 128 128 pixel CMOS sensor, and can store 128 112 black and white digital images using the four-color palette of the Game Boy system. It interfaced with the Game Boy printer, which utilized thermal paper to print saved images, making a hard copy. Both the camera and the printer were marketed by Nintendo as light-hearted entertainment devices aimed mainly at children in all three major video game regions of the world, Japan, North America, and Europe. N64 magazine which has since been superseded by Gomer dedicated a monthly section to the device. The Game Boy camera comes in five different standard colors, blue, green, red, yellow and clear purple Japan only. There was also a limited edition gold The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time edition, which contains different stamps from the standard versions and was available only in the United States through a mail order offer from Nintendo Power. The device's software has numerous references to other Nintendo products. Also, there are a few differences between the North American and Japanese versions, including the unlockable B album pictures and the stamps that can be placed on pictures. The Game Boy Camera (GBC) was featured in the 1999 edition of Guinness World Records for being the world's smallest digital camera, though this record has since been broken. Nintendo reportedly had plans to release a successor to the Game Boy Camera for the Game Boy Advance called the GameEye which would take color photos and feature connectivity with the Nintendo GameCube through a game titled Stage Debut, but neither the GameEye nor Stage Debut saw release. Nintendo has had built-in cameras with the Nintendo DSi and Nintendo 3DS. Features. There are three visible options available on the home screen, shoot, view, and play. There is a fourth set of options that are shown when the select button is pressed. A fifth, hidden menu appears when the user presses the start button. Shoot option from home screen. Shoot, shoot mode, where individual pictures can be taken. Items Self-timer sets a delay timer for taking pictures. Time lapse provides an intervalometer function. Magic Trick lenses, image mirroring, scaling Montage, create multi-image photos Panorama, create a panorama with multiple shots Gameface, edit gameface photos Check, view, edit saved photos in a sequential film roll format Run, loads a silly screen view option from home screen Album, view, edit photos in a non-sequential photo album format Show, slide show, animation and hotspot features play option from home screen. See mini games below. Select button from home screen. Various photo editing functions. Doodle add various stamps to pictures. Stamp use stamps on pictures. Paint draw freely on pictures. Link print select photos for printing. Transfer send photos to another GBC. Send pictures to another GBC. Receive pictures from another GBC Special Hot Spot – Create hot spot trigger points in photos which jumps to another photo Compose Split – Divide photos Fusion – Combine photos Edit Album – Delete photos directly from the album view Animation – Combine photos into animations users can make photo albums, slideshows, and custom animations of photos Start button from home screen personalization and record viewing options Username allows the user to enter their name birthday and gender Record shows statistics of photos taken transferred to and from the GBC and deleted High score shows top mini game scores Credits shows staff credits but only after being unlocked see below Topic hotspot Hotspot allows users to link pictures together by clicking on certain spots of the picture. This can be used in a number of creative ways. 
For example, it could be used for creating a game where a player can go from one photo of a room in a house to another by pressing certain spots on the photos. The location of the hotspots are customizable by accessing the special menu via the select options and choosing Hot Spot. In this mode, up to five one eyed blobs can be placed on each picture, which become invisible hotspots during Hot Spot mode. Each blob can be programmed to send the player to a different photo and include a visual transition and a sound effect. Then, in hotspot mode, when the player presses one of the hotspots, he or she will be sent to a photo of another room, where additional hotspots will send the player to additional photos, and move him or her throughout the virtual house. The Japanese version of the device is optionally integrated into the Mario Artist suite of multimedia games for the 64DD peripheral. Users can create drawn and 3D animated avatars of themselves based on photographs taken with the camera. Topic minigames Play as a built-in Space Fever 2 minigame, which is the sequel to the Space Fever arcade game created by Nintendo. At the beginning of the game, two spaceships appear, one marked with a B and one with a D. Shooting the B ship will send players to the ball minigame. Shooting the D ship will send players to DJ mode, an open-ended music video game. By avoiding both of the ships, the player will begin playing Space Fever 2. After scoring 2,000 points in Space Fever 2, a new minigame called Run. Run, Run, will be unlocked. Once unlocked, a new ship marked with a will appear alongside the B and D ships at the beginning of each new game of Space Fever 2. Access Run. Run, Run, by shooting the ship. Ball is a juggling game, in which the player moves his or her hand around to catch and throw balls. It is very similar to the Game & Watch game of the same name, only with Mr. Game & Watch's head replaced with the game face. The background music to this game is Mayhem Mayhem, an Israeli folk song. DJ is a music sequencer known as Trippy H where players can mix and create their own simple chiptunes. The game face is the DJ. Space Fever 2 is an homage, sequel to an early Nintendo arcade game. In this minigame, the player controls a spaceship which fires missiles at other ships throughout three unique levels, followed by a boss at the end of each level. The first boss is a giant face of a man with horns, the second boss is a giant face of a mustachioed man, and the third boss is the game face. Once all three of the bosses are beaten, the cycle will start over again, only harder. Run, run. Run, is the bonus minigame, which is obtained by reaching a score of 2000 or more in Space Fever 2. The game face is attached to a cartoon body, and the player races against a mole and a bird for the finish line. By clearing this minigame in under 22 seconds, the credits are unlocked. <laughs> Easter eggs The Game Boy Camera's software came with a few Easter eggs. If the Run button was pressed while the user was on one of menu screens, the game would sometimes freeze, and an image of a vandalized face would appear with the text, Who are you running from? often startling the user with the image. Also, mainly during the game, whenever it errors, another vandalized image will appear with a disconcerting, dooming 8 bit tone, usually startling the viewers. Very rarely, it would appear along with another picture saying, Don't be so silly. The international version of the game had three such faces, that would appear during different times, such as after system errors. The Japanese version had two faces different from the international version, including a young girl who is the daughter of one of the developers, with one face being the same between versions. The Japanese version read, How weak! and Let me be alone! Usually, however, a different screen that has a picture of Africa and says, You are now crossing the equator, Jambo Nintendo, pops up. Selecting credits on the personalization menu accessed with the start button before unlocking it by clearing run. Run, run, in under 22 seconds or afterwards by pressing B during or after they start does not show any actual credits, instead, a dancing man would appear on the screen. On the title screen, pressing the up button on the D-pad will make Mario dance faster, and pressing the down button on the D-pad will make him dance slower. While taking a picture, if any button on the D-pad is pressed rapidly, the color palette would flip, causing white to become black, and vice versa on the monochrome four -color screen. This is complete with the sound effect of a car honking. Topic development Initially, the Game Boy Camera was not well received at Nintendo. 
However, Kuahara approached Creatures, Inc. President Hirokazu Tanaka regarding the development of the software for the device, which solidified the project. The camera's built-in software was co-developed by Nintendo Research and Development One and the Japanese company Jupiter, with Tanaka directing the project. Topic: <laughs> International variations. There are many differences from the Japanese version. The first Space Fever 2 boss is a drawn picture. Mario dances differently. Frames 2 and 7 are different Most of the stamps are different No Mario stamps More Pokémon stamps Animation page shows an anime girl Wild frames 2, 5, and 6 are Pokémon frames The edit page shows a birdhouse, a doll, a face, and the word, "...happy". Album B photos are different Legacy Topic In popular media the Game Boy camera was used to take the photographs for the album cover of Neil Young's Silver and Gold. The Game Boy camera was featured prominently in the Hong Kong zombie film Bio Zombie. In Banjo-Tooie, Chris P. Bacon uses a Game Boy camera to take pictures. Using the GBC as a camera The Game Boy camera remains a popular device for photography and people constantly find new ways to get more out of this camera. A few examples are Color photography achieved by using filters Astrophotography achieved by attaching a Game Boy camera to a telescope. Photo enhancement by using a neural network. Photo transfer The Game Boy camera requires additional devices to transfer photos. The Game Boy printer prints photos directly, while devices like the Super Game Boy or Game Boy Player can display photos on a television. Photos can be saved and edited using a videocassette recorder or TV tuner card. Links. Game Boy Pocket Sonar <laughs>